help me with thy hallowed presence. Come, who oh come and feel me now. Feel me now. Feel me now. Jesus, come and feel me now. Feel me with thy hallowed presence. Come, oh, come and feel me now. Oh, yes, this morning I'm going to ask Sister Prim Rose Noble to open with a word of prayer and ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to fill us now, to bathe us. And you know, the gracious spirit of the power of God to take charge before our pastor can take the podium this morning. Sister Prim Rose Noble, should, uh, will you open with us with a word of prayer? I've unmuted you. Can you please unmute yourself? Thank you, my sissy. Morning, saints. Let us pray. Mm. Oh, Father, what in heaven, Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, Father, for protecting us. We thank you, Father, for being with our families and friends. We thank mm. you for this Sabbath, Lord. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for answering our prayers. And thank you, Father, for those prayers that you have not answered, for you know why. Heavenly Father, I want to bring your servant today. Who's going to be preaching to us this morning and giving us the spirit, the food of the spirit? Be with him, Father. Let the Holy Spirit guide him. Let the Holy Spirit lead. Heavenly Father, I ask as well that the Holy Spirit may be with each and one of us that is listening to him, that we practice what you have given us. I thank you, Father, for all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, we are ready now to listen to you, my pastor, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Bola, I think Sister Mucha has done justice to your CV. I will not even go into it. I will just uh, get into the word so that you can take us through the word of God. May the spirit of the Lord be upon you, my pastor, as you are going to lead us into this devotion this morning. Praise the Lord. We want to thank God this morning for his grace and for his mercy. We want to thank him for his time. <clears throat> we want to thank him for his kindness. We want to thank him for his grace. I want to say, I want to say happy Sabbath to wherever you're watching from um, this morning. And um, we want to say happy Sabbath. God has been faithful to us. He has kept us till now, and um, this is the end of our week um, on intense prayer and emergency prayer. I want to thank you, uh, I want to send my special thanks to the host and um, those that invited me. I want to thank you all again. I want to also thank my senior pastors for the recommendation. I want to thank our on-screen host, uh, Sister Mucha, she did an amazing job. I want to thank her also this morning and we want to end our series on i mean we could go on and go on but we want to end our series on christ tonight with intense prayer if there was anyone that knew how to pray it was christ and i want to look at that this morning as we end our message as we end our series i want to look at that today and looking at how intense everything was and as he was willing to bring us salvation. Turn with me in your Bibles to the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 26, verse 36. I'm gonna read a few verses from there, Matthew 26, verse 36. We're gonna read from there, Matthew 26, verse 36. When you get there with a preacher, say amen. The Bible says, then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane and said unto his disciples, sit ye here while I go 
and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and two and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Verse 30, it says, then said he unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death, tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, as I will, but thou will. And he cometh unto his disciples and found them asleep and said unto them, what? Could you not watch with me one hour? Verse 41, watch and pray that he enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Verse 42, he went away again the second time and prayed saying, oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thou will be done. Mm -hmm. And he came and formed them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same word. Mm -hmm. Then cometh to his disciples and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Mm -hmm. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that doeth betray me. Tonight, this morning, we want to continue our series on intense prayer, Jesus and God. Jesus and God, let us pray. Father, speak to us for we are listening. Yes. In Jesus' name, yeah. amen. Amen. As I discuss this, my colleague and I, we talk about this, and I, and it was amazing as we were looking at several scriptures and several different Bible references on intense prayer. And I said to him, I want to end the series on Christ and intense prayer in company with his disciples. The Savior slowly made his way to the garden of Gethsemane. The Passover moon broad and full shone from the cloudless sky, the city of pilgrims' tent was hushed into silence. Jesus has been earnestly conversing with his disciples and instructing them. But as he neared Gethsemane, he, be he became strangely silent. He had often visited this spot for meditation and prayer. It was a familiar place of prayer but never with a heart so full of sorrow as upon this night of his last agony. Throughout his life on earth, he has walked in the light of God's presence when in conflict with men who were inspired by the very spirit of Satan, he could say, he that sent me is with me. The father had not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. And that's found in John 8, verse 29. But, 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 but now, but now, as he approached Gethsemane, he felt the weight of sin and sorrow and agony. And for some reason, he did not feel or sense or see the Father and more along the journey. Mm. His soul began to be troubled. He was used to saying my hour has not come. He was used to saying, I, I, I laid down my life and I take it up again. No one has the power, but now it was at hand. Sin was weighing on him. As a man, he was tired and weary. As God, he knew he had to go through this. 
But as men, he said, and not tonight. As God, he understood that the, 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 the entire conflict hung in balance on this night. For at this point, if he goes through it, then he would have decided finally that I'm going to go to Gethsemane. And not, not just that, but I will go to the cross so that they can have life. You see, it was at this night. Yeah. It was at this night. Mm -hmm. This night. During this particular night, mm. the faith of humanity hung in the balance. Yes. 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 Will he allow us to go down as guilty? Mm. Mm. Or Will he be the guilty one? Mercy. Yeah. Will he be willing to be the lamb slain from the foundation of the world? My Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Or will he at this point turn around and say, Father, they are not qualified, and therefore I don't want to waste my time. Mercy. Mm. Preaching in this house, today. and so he approached the garden. And among his disciples, he saw three that have been close to him. He's taken them on the Mount of Transfiguration. They've seen Moses. Mm. They've seen Elijah. Mm. And if there was anyone that understood divine conflict, they didn't. He, he felt that they could have gone and held his hand. He needed human sympathy at this moment. Mm. And so he told the rest of the disciples to wait. And then he took the three with him. He said, Tyre ye here. Yeah. He said, watch with me. Mm -hmm. How many of us know that when we are in the most difficult times of our lives, when we are in, when we are caught up in the grip of a storm, how many of us understand that when we are in crisis, when, when, when we don't know our way out, we need somebody to hold our hands, to wash with us for a moment. How many of us understand that the problem here is that those that we depend on many times cannot be de dependent upon? In other words, human empathy fill him. For you see, at this point, he must go to the wild press by himself. Oh, my Lord. Hmm. At this point, humanity could not stand. In fact, my favorite writer said that the devil had angels already on watch, demons on watch in the garden, ready to intercept his prayer, and, and to get the disciples to fall asleep. They, 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 they throw sleeping spare on the disciples. Their eyes were tired. They, they, their spirits were willing, but their body was weak. As a man, he must endure the wrath of God against transgression. Christ was now standing in a different attitude from that which he had stood before. As a man, he had to pay the penalty in God. The gulf was so broad, so black, so dark that the spirit shone it before it. The agony, he must now assert his divine power to escape. As a man, he must suffer the consequence of, of man's sin. As a man, he must endure the wrath of God against transgression. As a man, he must die the second death. Christ was now standing in different attitude from that which he has stood before his suffering can best be described in the words of the prophet awake oh 
sword against my shepherd and against the man that is my fellow, said the Lord of hosts, Zechariah 3 and 13, verse 7. As the substitute and the surety for sinful men, Christ was suffering under divine justice. He saw what justice meant. He understood that justice demanded a just cause. He understood that the, the Lord of God could not be broken without consequences. He understood that there was no way out for the offender if sin would not be remitted. He understood that. He understood that though justice demanded a just cause, but if he went through it, mercy would show up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. He understood that he had to be the substitute for humanity. You see, Christ was always united with the Father, but at this point, he felt separation from the Father. The gulf began to grow wider and wider. The space began to get darker and darker. He saw, and, 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 and the amazing thing is that the disciples have fallen asleep. Jesus walked away from them. The cypress tree, the palm tree, the olive. You, you know, the word Gethsemane means olive press. Mm. Mm. He was about to be squeezed. Mercy. Mercy. He was about to be pressed so hard. Yes, the Bible said he went and prayed the first time. He cried to the Father. Father, I understand for this I came. But Father, if it is possible, I know we discussed this. But is there another way? And the father did not say a word. What happens when you pray and there is silence? Hey. Lord, what happens when you pray and God does not move? What happens when you take your favorite monster and everything and say to the mountain, be that removed? You speak to your crisis. You command the promises of God. What happens when God does not move? So he withdrew. He went to see if his disciples were still helping him to pray. Are you there with the preacher? You see, sometimes Amen. you need people to help Amen. you pray. Are you listening with the preacher? Amen. When he got there, they're sleeping. Oh. Are you listening to me? They are sleeping. So he said to them, as he woke them up, I just need one hour from you. I'm not asking for two or three or four. I, I know you, I know you were used to seeing me doing this for you, but I just need one hour now. Can you just hold on for one hour? Can you just hold your hands together in unity to represent the divine unity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? Can three of you just hold hands for me while I go and discuss for the Father? Can you agree with me? Because where two or three are gathered, he is here. Can you just do that so I know that the Father has shown up? Yes. He walks away. You see, his soul was filled with dread of separation from God. You see, Satan told him that if he became the surety for a sinful world, the separation would be eternal. He would be identified with Satan's kingdom and would, would, would never more be with God. The devil began to throw all of these doubts at him. Do you show you, are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to go through this? Oh, thank you, Jesus. And the faith of humanity hung in the balance. Mm -hmm. 
I'm talking about intense prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible says that the tension was so great that his sweat became as blood. I'm talking about intense. I'm talking about you pray and pray and cry and you wipe your eyes and cry and cry and pace up and down at night and, and turn on the bed and can fall asleep and wake up and cry and yet God does not say a word. Oh, have mercy. The Bible says his sweat, his sweat became as blood. If I had time, I would have discussed the significance of that. But I want you to know his because Gethsemane means olive press, he was being pressed. He was being pressed. He has come to the world pressed by himself. You see, long before this time, he had told the Father, prepare me a body and I will go down Please to be on. the avatar of humanity's destiny. You see, and what was to be gained by this, by his, by this sacrifice? How hopeless appeared the, the guilt and 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 and, 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 and in gratitude of man. In his hardest future, Satan pressed the situation upon the Redeemer, the people who claim to be above all others in temporal and spiritual advantage have rejected you, he told him. They are seeking to destroy you. The foundation, the center and seal of the promise made to them as a peculiar people, one of your own disciple who has listened to your instruction and has been among the foremost uh, in church activity will betray you. Hey. One of your most zealous followers will deny you. All will forsake you. The devil begins to disclose to him. Christ whole being abhor the taught that those whom he has undertaken to save, those whom he loves so much, should unite in the plot of Satan. Hmm. And it made it more difficult. Are you listening with me? Amen. Sometimes Amen. what makes prayer more difficult is that the people you're praying for, you see that they don't appreciate your prayer. Sometimes what makes prayer intense is that the people you are praying for don't seem that they understand why you're praying for them. That they've united with your enemies to destroy you while you're praying for them. Hey. What do you do? Yeah. my, I want to say this to us at this moment. My time is up now. A few more minutes, but I want to say this to you at this moment on this Sabbath morning. If Christ had walked away, hey. there wouldn't have been a fountain filled with blood. Hey, come on now. Preach on now. You see, because the Bible says that he had to die on the hill. Mm -hmm. You see, it had to reach from the from the highest mountain and flow to the lowest yeah, valley. If Christ had walked away, where would I have been? Preach, man, preach, come on. You see, you see, if, if Christ had not died, there wouldn't have been a fountain. Justin would have been not met and, and humanity would have been lost forever. That's why his prayer was intense. It was an emergency. Yeah. So he went back the second time and he found them asleep and, 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 and he, he cried to them, could you not wash with me? Hey, Lord have mercy, man. Lord, come on, preacher. Then he went back the third time. This time he understood the plot because the father did not say a word. He said to the father, finally, he said, father, not my will. If I must drink of this cup, father, if this is the role, Father, if I must go to a father, then, 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 then let your will be done. And, and friends of mine, I want you to understand 
Will we come to that point in our Christian journey amidst whatever conflict that we find ourselves? Hallelujah, somebody. God will show up from his silence. God will appear from his rest and breast. God will say a word. He will do something. The Bible says just them. In Luke, the Bible says, God called an angel. Go down to Gethsemane. My son needs strength. Come on, preacher man. Come on, preacher man. You see, sometimes we must go through the crisis to come out pure gold. You're not listening to the preacher. Oh, well, you see, your trial only came to make you strong. Peter said that we go through fire and fire, a uh, trial, but he said, don't count the strings because the firing situation will only make your goal sound better. It will make your goal greater. It will make it, it will make it shine among the rest. Uh, he said, you have to be refined. And sometimes part of the refining process is what we go through. Are you listening to the preacher? But, 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 but friends of mine, when God gives us strength, you got to get to the point where you said to God, if I must go through this crisis, if I must go through this situation, if I must go through it, then I need to know that you're going to walk with me. I need to know that you're going to talk with me. I need to know that you're going to still assure me that I am your child. I wish you're listening to, I wish you're listening to the preacher this morning. Amen. We're listening, man. Preach on me, preach on me, Sabbath today. Father! Yes. Not my will. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. But your will. Yes. You see, from the foundation of the world, mm-hmm. in her book, The Story of Redemption, chapter five, she said, that the doors that God has created mortal are, are, are immortal beings now. Are, are those that God has created have tasted mortality and, and sorrow fill heaven. And it was in the council that Jesus came, came volunteer and said, I will go down because if I don't do that, they will be miserable for the rest of their time. Mm. It was, you see, it was what was hidden from the devil from the foundation of the world. You see, you see, you see, you see, he did not know this. Mm. He did not know that Justin would have been met, but but Jesus will absorb the wrath of God. He did not know that. Mm. Because he said, there is no way the offender will go free. But what he did not know was that God himself will reconcile the world to himself. Hallelujah, somebody. This morning, wherever you are, I want you to know why we were yet sinning. It was not when we were perfect, while we were still doing the devil's business. It was when God expressed his love. He commanded himself to love us so much so that he said, it does not matter what it takes. It remains my very life. I will be the avatar for their destiny. Are you listening to the preacher? Jesus. Thank you. First of all, let me let me say this quickly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, take your time. Amen. As Christ finally made it out of the garden. First of all, it was in Gethsemane that the decision had been made because it had, he had agreed in Gethsemane. So it did not matter what happened along the way. He has been beaten, spot upon, his robe torn, hung on the cross. The Bible says he's looked at his mother. He began to cry in agony. The clouds begin dark because God and the holy angels could not see the other creator, they could not see, could not see his son. The, the other angels could not see their captain hanging on the cross. So God and the holy angels all dressed in black and hung around the cross. Jesus could not see them. It was so dark 
that he cried out, Father, Eli, Eli, Laman, Sabatani, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And the Bible says, then just when he was about to give up the ghost, the thief on his other side says, I recognize that this has to be the Son of God. So he turned to him and said, Lord, he, uh, even in death, he can call him Lord. He said, Lord, will you remember me when you come? And Jesus about to die, he paused death for a moment and left death more. Because you see, Jesus is always trying to save. We've heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. So he left death mode as hell one last time came back up and turned to the thief on his right and said, I say unto you today that you will be with men in paradise. The Bible says then after that, he went down and he hung his head and darkness covered the cross. Amen. He cried, it is finished. Sin has been paid for. It is finished. Humanity can walk down and lift your head. It is finished. The debt has been paid. It is finished. The conflict is over. It is finished. One day wherein you will be there also. Yes. It is finished. Finish. He hung his head. Mm. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Friends of mine. Mm. We have heard. Yes, sir. Joyful sound. Yes. Come on now. Come Jesus on. Saved. Yes. Jesus saved. Yes. Jesus saved. Spread the glad. Oh, Lord. This all around. Jesus saved. Yes, Jesus yes. saved. Bear the news oh. to every land. Echo by yes. the ocean came, earth a key, a jubilee, Woo. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Yes. Friends of mine, when all hope seems to have been lost, It seemed that there was no way out. Yes. The Lord had given him strength to go through it. Yes. Yes. As he rests his head in death, he had opened a fountain filled with blood so that sinners can plunge beneath that floor and lose all their guilty shame. But you see, it was that intense prayer that prepared him for that moment. Friends of mine, as we close today, this morning, I want to say to you that it doesn't matter now how it all ends. If you pray for that loved one and they did not make it out of Death Valley, it doesn't matter now because there is a fountain. If you pray for that person in the hospital bed and never recover, it doesn't matter now. Jesus will keep me near the cross because there is still a precious fountain. It is free to all a healing stream and flows beyond the river. Friends of mine, I want you to understand by his death brought salvation that at the end, it does not matter how it turned out. God still wins. 
So even when it seems that the devil has a laugh, God still comes up better. Yes. Even when it seems like your try is about to dig you under, you will still come out pure gold. Are you listening to the preacher this morning? Even when it does not seem like it's working out, friends of mine, God has already worked it out. I would say to you today as I close, keep on praying. I would say today to you as I close, turn your heart closer to God. I would say to you today as I close, earth has no sorrow. Are you listening to me? Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Earth has no sickness that God cannot kill. Earth has no problem that God does not have a remedy for. I want to say keep on praying for one day you will hear the voice lift up your heads or he gets up. And be ye lifted up, you have a lasting door that the king of glory might come in. And I can hear someone say, but who is the king of glory? I want you to know Jehovah is his name. Who is the king of glory? His name is Yeshua. Who is the king of glory? I want you to know he's the folk man in life's fire in front of us. Lift up your hands, all ye gifts, and be ye lifted up. You have a lasting door that the king of glory might come in. Someone ask him, but who is the king of glory? He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the folk man in life's fire in front of us. He's the one that shut the lion's mouth. Who is the king of glory? He is king of kings and lord of lords. Who is the king of glory? He's the God that is the very present help in times of trouble. Yes. Lift up your hands, all ye gates. Yes. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. Because the king of glory wants yes. to come into your life today. Yes. And friends of mine, if you let him in, yes. it doesn't matter how it turned out. Praise the Lord. You are on the winning side. May God bless us this morning. Oh, May God hey. keep us on this Sabbath. Yes. May yes. God strengthen our yes. heart in Jesus' yes. name. I say in Jesus and put your hands together for the Lord wherever you are. Yes. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Somebody say yes. hallelujah. May the Lord grace be upon you. Father, thank you again. Yes. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Who is the King of Glory? Amen. Hey, thank you so much. We are on the winning side. Thank you, Pastor Bola, Dr. Bola. I cannot just keep quiet, but to praise the Lord that Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Amen and amen. Let me take this time. Whew. Ooh, let me take this time to, to thank you, Dr. Bola. Not you only and your wife. Thank you so much for allowing God to use you this whole seven days. God used you in a mighty way and we cannot take that for granted. And our lives have been transformed. Our lives have been assured. We are assured this morning was the climax of, the of, of, of our assurance in the Lord that yes, he is on our side and the victory is ours. The victory is ours. Thank you so much for allowing God to use you. And let me thank uh, your dear wife for... For the team ministry, I've learned a lot. Uh, my husband is a pastor too. I've learned a lot that I will not keep quiet anymore, sister. Thank you so much. I will always be the steering wheel behind. People will hear me Amen. from today onwards. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. We praise the Lord for your family. We praise the Lord for you. Yes, friends, today, uh, I think the message was appropriate that we are going to give our testimonies to the Lord that he has saved us. 
no matter what. He has saved us, even if darkness had engulfed us, but Jesus has saved us. This is the time of testimonies. Today, we are not going to any prayer uh, room. We are testifying of the goodness of the Lord on the intense prayers that we have been doing with him. So those who are ready to do, uh, to, 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 to give, their testimonies, please raise up their hand. I know I've got one sister who has already said is willing. Sister Alice, please put up your hand. I want to see those hands flying and flying. And please write a message of thanks to Pastor Bola, to Dr. Bola and his family of Thanksgiving in the chat. Thank you so much. I hope uh, Dr. Bola, you're looking at those uh, uh, at those messages. We already have eight hands. We already have eight hands, and we are going to go straight into them. Sister Tulin Debele, Sister Tulin Debele, let's keep it sweet and short, and praise the Lord in the meantime. Sister Tulin, and I've unmuted you. 